Hi, I'm Brian Mullins the Fox. Now, before I get into who we're dealing with in this commentary banger, I want to make things clear. Number one, I used to kind of respect the man. So this is a video demonstrating why I don't anymore. Number two, it's not going to be a slander piece, because what's the point in doing that if being as accurate as possible is the better option? And finally, number three, the reason why Rosa Ray Ramsey is not mentioned on this list of names in the thumbnail of this video is because he did not make her mistake. She did. And I will get to that eventually in this video. All right, are you people ready? Yeah? All right, then let's go. It took you but days to remove a child predator when you knew I what think they did. it was like. It took you days? Probably, days? Days? It should have taken you five like days. seconds! Lyle Convoy, or also known as Thomas Guerra, is a Thundercats historian, quote unquote, predator hunter YouTuber, and pseudo intellectual moron. His channel, at the time of scripting this, has roughly 16,000 subscribers, and it is growing. However, this is not supposed to be an autobiography on him, but a video documenting his history with predator hunters, bad takes, and just being a hypocrite, with being a massive manipulator on the side. Long before he made fun of another YouTuber named Kaz Warfox for making predator hunting a hobby right as Kaz himself announced he was quitting, Tom has a longer history of this being his hobby. Given that it's ironic to make predator hunting your main hobby whilst you have actual jobs in real life. So much for your 60 plus hour work week, Tom. Cass started his predator hunting shtick sometime after Tom did. Let's start around the time when Toon Critic Y2K got exposed for being a predator in the My Little Pony community in 2018 where he lambasted the community for supposedly refusing to proverbially clean house. This despite the fact that this predator hunter shit is somehow below him. Every community is full of degenerates, and even then I don't blame them. Kaz Warfox got around Lyo Convoy right at the time the whole Zoophile Police Twitter restructuring incident happened in 2020. Despite the fact that Kaz started his channel in 2013, not 2018. When Lyo started engaging in this hobby and got around to being friends with another predator hunter named Coyote Lovely, who got famous for dunking on zoophiles, zoozatists, and predators, at that time didn't know or wasn't responsible enough to realize for almost five years that Coyote was not a reliable friend. Coyote Lovely got exposed for not just flirting with the zoophile and sexting, but sending a zoo sadist to another zoo file in February of 2023, after the botched op on Sappho and Zarkarlo. Lyo was dealing with people like Buttons, Anthony, or also known as For No Good Reason, and Ichabod during the situation surrounding Mintheart. Mintheart was a victim of sexual assault, and Lyo was part of the group that set up a GoFundMe page to financially support her and get her out of that abusive household she got stuck in at the time. Mentart was likely the first of many that Tom had to adopt because he was the one who had control over the funds of that GoFundMe page. He adopted more of these victims of sexual assault and other crimes, whilst he was falsely accused of being a pedo, a groomer, and an all-around fucking degenerate by people like Gilded Pooh, Vash Lancet, and Neora. Kaz Warfox then got conveniently exposed by Tom and the Senate, alongside with Frisky Doodle for saying that Peaches should be sexually assaulted by Lyo. Kaz's dumbass story that sounds like an edgy OC's origin story. Vash Lancet for acting like a perpetual child over having to provide evidence against Lyo. Gilded Pooh for bragging about having terabytes, in quotations, of zoo and scat porn, and Neora for making a terrible exposed document on him. It's also funny given that you are respected by the community you say you hate, the commentary community. Vlad and a bunch of others raided Queen Serafina's Discord server, one with minors in it, whilst Lyos and Peaches were 18 plus at the time, and still are today, with Zoo and Scat porn before Gilded and a bunch of Spurgs got exposed. Others like Peaches, 
just a robot and so on got around to him for videos about dramas that they made not so very well. Videos on Spockter, the guy who held on to the nudes of a then-to-be 13-year-old up until past his 18th birthday or something. The name's Junkie and others. His quote-unquote predator hunting didn't always go to plan, however. A victim of Grizzly the Medic refused to report him for being predatory, and Grizzly himself only got fired from his job as a result of the exposure from Lyo Convoy and others anyway. Lyo blows up on Coyote for fucking up many situations when it comes to dealing with zoophiles, zoo sadists, and pedophiles. He was also friends with Vita, who later turned out to be a predator himself. Lyo also shows a pattern of him trusting a predator hunter or someone else he trusted no matter how much evidence there is against them or how much of a scumbag they truly turned out to be until it's seemingly convenient not to anymore. If one is a one-off or freak occurrence, if two is just merely a coincidence, then three must be a pattern, right? Funny thing is, he's done this five times now, not including Rosa Ray Ramsey because that was not his mistake to make. That was Rosa herself's mistake to make. Number one, for no good reason when it came to the stallion situation, which is also the reason why Tom and the Senate did their first accountability and responsibility stream to Vita, or generally in the Vita situation, where he got exposed for being a predator himself. Number three, Coyote Lovely, the Zercarlo and Hypnotist Sappho situations. Four, Kaz Warfox and his quote-unquote Fox Mafia for LARPing with Coyote, being ass mad that Lyo himself dealt with Coyote the way he did after being betrayed by him, etc. And finally, number five, Frisky Doodle for being a victim of sexual assault herself, then going to say the peaches should be essayed by Lyo. Why was it also convenience for all five? Because they slighted him, literally or not. Doesn't matter. And now let's get on to the next chapter. Lyo also has a history of calling people's parents and houses, regardless if he was provoked or not. He's done this to Bloodlord, also known as Freddy, because he not only threatened to rape Mint Heart, but did a lot of other degenerate autistic things. But that was the only time Lyo had the right to do that. In other potential scenarios, he usually acts like such a Karen because he always takes YouTube drama too goddamn seriously. Tom, at least, didn't do the same thing to Frisky Doodle by calling her house, now did he? Also, just block and report them. I don't call their fucking house over random internet drama. I've never spoken to any of them directly, even if they threaten me directly. Only if it's a fake threat and not a real one. But if it's a legit threat, report them to their local precinct, not the FBI, unless if they're making terroristic threats. And I swear to God, if Lyo tries to call me, my father, or my house over this video right here, there will definitely be a follow-up video to this one. He also expects that children or minors will not be endangered or in danger to begin with, even though that's the point of his quote-unquote predator hunter hobby. He's dealt with people like Bunny Chan, Smash Bandicoot, Dan Alec Chai, Rosa Ray Ramsey, Rebecca Starlight, for no good reason, Vash Lancet, Kaz Warfox, Coyote Lovely, Zarkarlo, Hypnotist Sappho, Gilded Pooh, Neora, etc. That's like a firefighter not expecting to see burning buildings to save from the destruction of a massive inferno, even though that's a part of his or her fucking job. But unlike being a predator hunter on the internet, being a firefighter is an actual job. I will show you a clip from a live stream Techno hosted in December of last year. By the way, I've also called Lyo out for this obvious posturing in a recent video I premiered on the 20th of July. Four days like between four finding out someone in your server is a child predator and removing them. Out. Are you stupid? Four days that person can continue to sick. prey on children in your server. Four days that idiot sits nice and comfy in a server full of children. Four days. My I don't care. I don't care about her taking down her server. What I care about is it took her days to take somebody she knew, knew was a child predator away from her server that had kids in it.
Don't you ever come to me telling me about how you care about children. You lying, disingenuous piece of garbage. You are 30 years old and you're pulling this nonsense. Not only should you be ashamed of yourself, your parents should be ashamed of raising you like this. They owe everyone a God's return an apology. And now you have the audacity uh, to sit here and try to play pretend that you have any moral high ground to talk about Zai being bigoted against China and who knows how many people had bad arguments that he coughed about in that video that were minors. You don't care about whether or not your feelings are hurt, you worthless, gutless cretin. Find God. He's the only one who can help you at this point. Go to church. Can somebody tell me why every single time I'm about to dunk on some idiot just for being stupid, there's always children that are put in danger? Why can't you retards just be stupid? Why can't you just be laughable goons? Why do you always put children in harm's way? I'm sorry for calling you retarded. I've met retarded people. They're very polite, very sweet, and they wouldn't pull these stunts. They're a lot smarter than you. I didn't know that. Go get your parents, because I know you live with them. Go get them. I just don't... I just don't know. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You dishonest, gutless weasel. Please, and then I you have the audacity to sit here and try to moral post all over the internet about how Zaid's bad. And let's just say this, let's just say that. And then you come onto this stream with this poor man who has no idea about the depths of your depravity, because I don't either. You may excuse me for why you supported somebody who didn't report a predator. What is it with you idiots? Why can't I just laugh at a fool? I why can't just... I just mock a moron? Why is it you idiots always wind up putting children in danger? Why? Why can't I just have one night like I where said, I make fun of morons? I did not know. Bitch, what the fuck do you expect from them? Proverbial giving them candy without going anywhere near a white van? <laughs> now, this section won't be too long, but just a brief overview of his past mistakes and hot takes. Number one, Lyo assumes Keisuke was into the diaper fetish, only for him to talk it out with Keisuke, not just on Discord, but in his addendum video, and apologized for taking him out of context. Number two, Lyo and others went with Anthony's false accusations against Stallion, only to cut ties with Anthony and make the right corrections after that. Number three, his stream with Coyote Lovely on the Antunes drama was actually bad. And finally, number four, his dog shit takes on Shadiversity's video on AI Arts in his response stream. Recently, Lyo responded to my comments in the comment section of Jar's recent Spectre video, and it goes, I understand the sentiment here. I don't take either of them seriously. For one thing, Tom now has a history of foolishly going along with predator hunters as if being one wasn't wrong enough to begin with, LARPing, coyote flirting with a zoo, etc. He talks all big about checking up on your friends. He should have never been friends with them in the first place. Being a predator hunter has to involve either endangering a minor, using a decoy, ones at or above 18 years old, if one can't afford to get into trouble for that, and many other shady things. I just now oppose the idea of being a predator hunter, not because I'm pro pedo or anything like that, but because I don't concern myself with issues that never involved me or anything that bad in general. Here's his now-to-be-deleted response. Jack, you've been actively harassing Doodle Tones for over a year now, and constantly hanging around with the worst of people. The reason you don't, quote-unquote, get me, is because you're literally a child without the ability to think critically. As for you, Brian, quote, being a predator hunter has to involve either endangering a minor, using a decoy, ones at or above 18 years old, if one can't afford to get into trouble for that, and many other shady things. What an unquestionably stupid thing to say. You 100% have no idea what you're going on about. Sit down and be quiet. Oh, the irony. It's too much. Here's my response to his now deleted comment. That's not an actual counter, old man. Nice try, though, given that what I said in my comment is true. By the way, stop calling yourself a boomer. You're a millennial. All he does is try to shut down the conversation when it comes to criticisms against predator hunting and predator hunters, especially ones he dealt with in the past. Just childishly telling someone to sit down and shut up is not a counter-argument, you fucking idiot. And he knows he can't make a counter-argument against what I've said because it's true. I've made videos about predator hunters back in December! Including the one talking about the legal ramifications when it comes to being one, or faking it. 
I am going to give you a bunch of reasons why it's actually hard, or if not impossible, to actually catch a predator, in quotations, and either not be one yourself or get charged for worse endangering a minor or even a child and not doing anything about what might happen to that said minor or child in the first place. Number one, you actually cannot use minors as decoys. It is actually illegal in the US, UK, Australia, to name a few countries, to use a minor, even if they're 16 or 17 years of age, as a decoy to try and quote unquote catch a potential predator. Because that's endangering a minor. Endangering a minor is considered either a misdemeanor or an outright felony in most states. It really depends on which state though. Which is especially the reason why content creators on YouTube like Vita, Leo Convoy, Queen Serafina, Coyote Lovely, Kaz Warfox, and Igabod are good examples on who and why not to endanger any minor on Discord or the internet let alone being the one having to needlessly put yourself through all this demeaning bullshit for views and likes. But not all of them are in the same camp. For example, Leo Convoy, Coyote Lovely, Queen Serafina, and Kaz Warfox are in the camp that intervenes and quote-unquote catches the low-hanging fruit predators or outright degenerates on Discord. They just found. And it's people like these quote-unquote decoys who constantly puts themselves through all of this without any justifiable reason why I just can't understand for the life of me why why would you put yourself through all that shit why are you a masochist or you're just a glutton for punishment you wonder why chris hansen was well known for using young adult women as decoys instead of actual minors but then was briefly arrested for not showing or providing sex trafficking evidence to a michigan court let alone a michigan court judge number two you actually can't try to ruin someone's life. You can't just pull out your cell phone, record a video after showing supposed evidence of an NSFW tier text chat or quote unquote sext chat. Also, how can we tell if it was an actual predator trying to go after some pussy? Or is it a bunch of these predator hunters in quotations setting a minor up to be endangered or worse, diddled, raped, or even murdered? There is no set in stone or absolute way to fully tell and confirm beyond the shadow of a doubt that the situation situation happened as it is shown. Looks and screenshots can be flat out deceiving. You never trust deceitful screenshots at face value. If anyone out there is going to try and argue, well obviously Brian, you can clearly tell that the predator started the NSFW chat log. Well if you think that, or even believe that for a second, you're a fucking charlatan. You're a fucking simpleton. There's really nothing else I can say to you. How did this minor or even child get into contact? Contact with the predator in the first place? Was the decoy dumb enough to take the bait? Or is she or the whole group of these quote unquote predator hunters truly hiding something out of context to try and make a point? The world may or may not know and may never know. Number three, you can't bait desperate people into things they don't really mean to do. I used to catch a predator as an example on why this practice is incredibly shitty in my old late 2021 video that I premiered on New Year's Day 2022 about separating objective fetishes from the subjective ones. It isn't really just a fetish anymore if a minor is in danger or at risk of being killed in the worst case scenario. And finally number four. You can't be hiding the truth for too long when it comes to the situation where a minor or even child is endangered. This is the final out of the few other reasons I had that I have adequately and fully conveyed throughout this video. Y'all can't be the ones hiding the truth for so long in any of these dangerous situations revolving around a minor or even worse, a little child, be it a boy or a girl. Endangering a minor as a misdemeanor or even felony is just as bad or if not worse than being a predator just looking for that putang. Because if you use a minor or child as a decoy yourself when children cannot consent until they're 18 years old, why else would they think they could just legally get away with endangering at least a 17 year old on the internet? The age of consent in one state or another state doesn't mean shit 
when it comes to actually trying to quote unquote catch a predator. If he or she is not 18, I have a problem with it legally, and I fucking goddamn should, because that shit is shitty. And if you support these predator hunters doing that, I'm sorry, but you're part of the problem and I have no respect for you. You disingenuous piece of shit human being. This situation has to either be completely fake or fictional or played out. While the shitty situation of living with abusive parents is occurring in spite of this entire charade or act, or they would all be in serious legal trouble for actually endangering a minor, had the person or decoy in question be a minor in the first place, and not tell anyone until the recording on OBS begins or when the cameras start proverbially rolling. If you do any of this and consider yourself a quote-unquote predator hunter or a supporter of a predator hunter, I dearly and truly feel sorry for your dumb ass. You should have never found these people in the first place. Look what happened to Vita. Look what happened to Ichabod. They got exposed somewhat. But what were the others doing to contribute to their exposure? What would that mean? I don't know and I never will know for sure. Overall, in conclusion, Lyle Convoy is number one, a hypocrite by bragging about being consistent in his morals and his faith in Christianity. When he's morally inconsistent at best, when it comes to dealing with predator hunters right away, or more likely being a blatant hypocrite using his religion and his faith as a cudgel against those that disagree with or criticize him for his flawed past at worst. Number two, he's a pseudo-intellectual who refuses to engage with people who criticizes him fairly and openly, has very bad takes on some dramas, AI art, and other things surrounding predator hunting in general. Number three, Lyle Convoy is a bad faith individual who surrounds himself with people he'd consider quote unquote friends blindly, but deals with them when seemingly convenient. Number four, He's not an innocent saint in any of these scenarios. If anything, he should be ashamed of himself for even calling himself a fucking predator hunter to begin with. Number five, he's a melodramatic Karen that hides behind the characteristic of being a quote-unquote boomer to get sympathy points. Number six, he's a masochist who gets himself all boiled up in the blood with stupid shit that nobody has any goddamn right to go through no matter what. And finally, number seven, Lyle Convoy or Thomas fucking Guerra is an all-around asshole and a douchebag. And there is no goddamn way in hell that I wouldn't make this video a thing. Because I have to, alright? Thank you all for watching this commentary video. I have been your delightful host, Brian Mullins the Fox, signing out. If Lyle Convoy is going to respond to this, or he's just gonna block me, ignore me, and just hand wave me away as a narcissist, a troll, or just a dickhead. But if he does, so be it. Good God, what is wrong with you?